dear students namaste how are you all today fine yes i am fine too so are you ready for today's english class i guess everyone is sitting with their books exercise books and all the necessary stops aren't you all right then let's go ahead so today we are going to discuss unit 11 we are going to discuss unit 11 and in this unit 11 we are going to deal getting started okay all right then so see there here it's asking you look at the pictures and discuss the answers to this questions in groups there are some pictures the pictures are in your books too i'll be showing those pictures to you and you have to absorb the pictures carefully you have to see that picture okay and then you have to answer to the questions which are related to those pictures the questions are you have to say who are they or what are they and then you have to tell the benefits also advantages means what are they used as okay what do we get from them okay so are you ready now all right so the first picture is okay so here is a man and there is a sewing machine also and the man is stitching a dress what do you what do we call such type of people who is stitches your clothes what are they called who is he yes he is a tailor who is he he is a tailor and what does he do he stitches clothes the dress the uniform which you wear while going to school yes we need dresses we need clothes to cover our body and who is stitches it then a tailor is stitches isn't it our clothes are prepared by a tailor so he is a tailor what does he do he stitches clothes okay the next picture is so there is a woman like me isn't she you see the standing in the front and here are many students what is she doing she is teaching perhaps you see there is a board and she is explaining something as i am doing to you so what do we call them who teach students what do you call me tell me i am a good teacher she is a teacher and what does she do she teaches her students you see she is standing there and she is teaching her students that's what i am doing right now isn't it so what does a teacher do a teacher teaches students okay so the next picture now what are these have you seen this type of structures before are they a triangle are they triangles no triangles are they called triangles if that is so then that should be on a paper yes but here it is built like a structure in triangles or a shape what are they called okay no they are not just triangle they are pyramids what are they called yes they are called pyramids now what is the benefit of pyramid why pyramids are built why such type of structures are built see there they are built as royal tombs what do you mean by tombs the structure which is built on the cremation ground 
yes if any per any person anybody is dead then they are cremated they are buried down in our religion in hindu religion what happens the body is burnt but it doesn't happen with all the religions like muslim yes isn't it muslim people they they do not burn the dead bodies like christians they do not burn the dead bodies what do they do they bury it under the ground that is called cremation ground and they build a certain structure you might have seen in your village of course not like this but certain structures are built now these pyramids they are built for royal family if anybody from royal family is dead then this type of pyramids are built yes this type of structures are built they are called pyramids okay all right now what is this have you seen such a long wall you see okay you might have seen in your books yes on internet what is this can you name it okay you might have studied in gk2 what is this then of course it's a great wall of china this is great wall of china the longest wall in the world you won't find any wall longer than this bigger than this okay so this is great wall of china do you know it is also listed as one of the eight uh, one of the seven wonders of the world there are seven wonders this great of wall this great wall of china is listed in seven wonders too so you can find it in books yes on internet if you search you can find it okay let's move to the next picture now Oh so there are two men you see one is sitting and the another one is cutting his hair have you ever visited such type of person do you need to visit them of course we do you can't have long hairs in school boys especially isn't it girls are allowed all right but boys they do have to visit this person this type of person not this person only this type of person this type of place you have to go so what is uh, this type of person girl who is he what can you call him good he is a barber who is he he is a barber what is the work of barber what does a barber do he cuts hair and shaves or trim beards Uh, you are too young but your father your grandfather your uncle they go to get their beards trimmed isn't it and you go to get your hair cut so we need to visit to barber isn't it his task is his work is to cut hair all right what is this now there's a building you see seems like a temple okay so can you name what is this this is located in our in our country nepal only do you know the name of this place yes somebody over there very good it's lumbini this is lumbini and what is lumbini famous for it is famous as the birth place of gautam buddha it is the birth place of gautam buddha yes gautam buddha the one who founded buddhism he was born here in lumbini so this is lumbini it is the birth place of gautam buddha you know gautam buddha he is also known as tell me what is he known as one is he is the founder of buddhism all right what is the next he is known as the light of asia isn't it he is known as the light of asia and he was born in lumbini here in this place 
Okay. Now let's move to the poem. You like poems? I hope you do. So here is a poem. We shall read it. First of all, I shall go through the poem and you have to listen carefully. All right. And then we shall read it together. Okay. All right. Listen and sing. I saw the people gathered in a crowd. My job is better shouting all aloud. There were so many people. Yes, they were gathering around. And what were they shouting? My job is better. My job is better. Means the work they do was better than others. They were shouting. My job is better shouting all aloud. They were cheering with pride. My job is better. The work I do is better than yours. Some wore a prawn. Some carried auto lens. Here you see the man in the glasses. He is wearing a prawn. Who is he? What is this type of man called? Can you guess? Who wears aprons actually? Tell me. Of course, doctors, scientists, isn't it? But doctors are the one whom we must commonly see, isn't it? So, so in that crowd of people, some wore aprons and some carried auto lens. Now, what is this auto lens? Okay. This type of thing, have you seen it ever? Yes, of course, isn't it? Where have you seen it? Tell me. What is this? You might have seen it in a camera which is used to click photos, isn't it? Yes. So, some people in that crowd, some of them were doctors, some of them were photographers. Some sewed devices controlling distance. Some of the people in that crowd, they saw the devices which control distance, which shows the distance, like navigators are there, isn't it? Who uses it? Yes, engineers uses it, isn't it? So, I saw the people gathered in a crowd. My job is better, shouting all aloud. Some wore a prawns, some carried a lens, some saw devices controlling distance. I saw the lawn with people and steps around. Lawn, you know lawn? This type of place is called lawn, a grassland. Okay? So, I saw the lawn with people and steps around. Only few were at center with a cheering sound. It's people, some people were there in the lawn and there were steps too. Yes? And only few people were at center. That means some people are still in the way of achieving the dream. They are still climbing the steps. Well, some of them, you see, only a few were at center. Only few people were there who have been successful, who had been a successful professionals. Yes, some were still in the steps. They were still doing their work, still studying, whereas some of them have become successful professionals. And they were cheering with the sound. When you achieve your dream, when you are successful, yes, when you become what you wanted to be, then you do what? You cheer, hooray, yes, I'm a doctor now, I'm a teacher now, isn't it? A huge display was blinking time and again, either to show the point or the result. What keeps on blinking? If you walk on the road in the city area, yes, and you have to wait sometime, the traffic says you stop there, you see the display is there and it keeps on blinking, numbers are there, signals are there, isn't it? A screen keeps on blinking. So, there are different types of screen you can relate to. Yes, it's a traffic signal or television, that big display which is sold out of the malls, shopping malls, isn't it? That was blinking time and again. Who makes such type of signals? Yes, it's the professionals like engineers, they do it. They make such type of devices which show the result, which point you, which show you the direction. Okay, you can go this way or that way or stop like this. Okay, now all of you read after me.
Okay. I saw the people gathered in a crowd. My job is better shouting all aloud. See? I saw the people gathered in a crowd. My job is better shouting all aloud. Some wore a prone, some carried auto lens. Some saw devices controlling distance. Good. I saw the lawn with people and steps around. Only few were at center with a cheering sound. So when they have been successful, they were, charged, they were cheering out. Yes. A huge display was blinking time and again, either to show the point or the result then. See? A huge display was blinking time and again, either to show the point or the result then. So here we have done with the poem. Now, this is the poem which I have made for you to make you more clear about the professions, about different occupations. Of course, you know that, but let's read this poem, okay? And then it will be more clear to you, okay? All right, so sing with me. The title is, What Do You Do? What do you do? What do you do? I am a farmer. I grow crops. See the farmer over here. What does a farmer do? Yes, he grows crops. He is the one who fills our bellies. Otherwise, we would be starving. Bhukmari udhenatyuta? Because the farmers are there, we are healthy too. Our plates are filled with food. It's because of them. Isn't it? So we must be grateful to farmers. They are the one because of whom we are alive. Otherwise, we would have died. How long can you stay without food? Can you? We can't. Okay. So... What do you do? What do you do? I am a doctor. I treat sick people. See there? What does a doctor do? Does a doctor dance? No? Of course they dance, but that is not their work. Their work is to treat sick people. Yes, that is what they do. When we get sick, when we are ill, we are suffering from fever, whom do we go to? Of course, we go to doctors and they make us fine. They make us well again. And then we are again back to action. Isn't it? Okay. So, she is a doctor and her work is to treat sick people. Where does a doctor work? Tell me. In a school? Of course not. A doctor works in a hospital, in clinics. Okay, so but let's hope that we never have to go to a doctor. Do you enjoy going to doctors? I don't enjoy and I hope you too. Do you enjoy? No. Nobody likes when they are sick, isn't it? But when we are, when we are ill, we have to go to them. So let's pray. We never have to go to a doctor. Okay, so next. What do you do? What do you do? I am a carpenter. I make furniture. See the carpenter over here. We need him too. Him I mean, carpenter. Because the bed where we sleep, Yes, the chair where we sit, the cupboard where we keep our books, the decks and benches, of course, where you sit in the classroom. Who makes them? Who is that person who makes this type of furniture? So he is called a carpenter. A carpenter makes furniture. Otherwise, every time we'd have to lie on the ground. If there is no furniture, there are, there are no tables. There are no chairs, no bed to sleep, no decks and benches. 
then how would we be living? Of course, all the time on the ground, on the floor, isn't it? So it is because of carpenter that we are sitting or staying or living so comfortably. We have beds to sleep, we have chairs to sit, even sofas more comfortable, isn't it? All right. Okay, what do you do? What do you do? I am a photographer. I click photos. Who is he? Photographer. And what does he do? He clicks beautiful pictures of ours. Isn't it? Even, even an, you know, a good looking person is there. Of course, everyone is good looking. But a photographer makes us look more good, more fine. When we go to studios, we get our photos clicked and we just see, oh my God, how beautiful I am. Isn't it? So it's because of them who clicks those type of nice photos. Yes, so he is a photographer who clicks photos. The work of a photographer is to click photos. Next, what do you do? What do you do? I am an astronaut. I travel to space. Where do I, what does an astronaut do? Okay, so an astronaut travel to space. He looks somehow like this. You see, the white space suit, the different type of place is there. You see, have you seen such type of place? I guess you might have seen only on internet, mobile phone maybe, or on TV you might have seen. So these people are called astronauts. Their task is to travel to space, they travel to space with a different sort of transportation that is called a spaceship, rockets, yes. And what do they do there? Why do they go there? To have picnic? Of course not. They take such type of risk to discover new things. We come, we read about, you might be re reading about your nine, I mean, solar family, isn't it? Solar family, you know that there are seven planets. There are seven planets. The sun is a star, isn't it? So, and lots and lots and lots of things about space. We know all these things only because of whom? Astronaut. If they don't go to space and they find new things, they study the things over there, we can't ever know what is outside the earth. We just see the people, the trees, isn't it? The rivers, the mountains, but there are many more things than this. And we have come to know, we are still, this, you know, we are still knowing different things because of astronauts. So aren't they useful? Aren't they beneficial for us? Of course they are. Yes. So what does an astronaut do? They travel to space and find or discover new things about the universe. All right. The last one. What do you do? What do you do? I am a shopkeeper. I sell goods. Shopkeeper. He is also very much important for us, isn't it? Because we can't get all the things just in our house, inside our house. In, even the food we eat, we have to buy. And where do we go to buy? Of course, to a shopkeeper. Everything you use, your clothes, yes, and the food you eat, the things which you need in your day-to-day -day life, for these all stuffs, where you have to go? You have to visit a shopkeeper. What does a shopkeeper do? He sells goods. He sells goods. Goods means things. Isn't it? Different sort of things. So here in the picture you see it's a toy shop where you can buy toys. But there are many types of shopkeeper. There is a grocery. Yes. Likewise, there are electronic shops where you can buy the mobile phones, laptops, isn't it? So 
A shopkeeper is also very much useful for our society. This occupation is also much needed. Otherwise, we'll have to face lots and lots of difficulties. Isn't it? When the lockdown was there, you see, what happened at that time? We faced lots of difficulties to manage our life, isn't it? Because every time we needed the things, we went outside and we see all the shops were closed and we have to return back. Wasn't the life difficult? That means even the shopkeepers are very much important. Because if they don't sell the goods, how can we sustain our life? Isn't it? All right, let's sing it. Okay. What do you do? What do you do? I am a farmer. I grow crops. See? Okay, good. What do you do? What do you do? I am a doctor. I treat sick people. See now? Yes, good. What do you do? What do you do? I am a carpenter. I make furniture. Read all of you. Yes. What do you do? What do you do? I am a photographer. I click photos. Are you following me? Yes, good. Read it. Okay. What do you do? What do you do? I am an astronaut. I travel to space. Read after me. Come on. Okay, very good. What do you do? What do you do? I am a shopkeeper. I sell goods. Okay, go on. Very good. Wow. Yes, we read the poem about different professions. And I hope you have known about them. Haven't you? Now, can you tell about those professions? If you are asked, I guess you can. All right then, see here. So here is a lady who has been dressed in white. There is a sign of plus. Where do you, sign, where do you find this type of sign? Of course, in a hospital, yes, in ambulances. So this type of sign can be found there. That means this lady also works in a hospital. Who is she? She's a nurse. Have you seen a nurse in a hospital? Do you like them? What do you like about them? Tell me. Okay. Yes. They take care of patients. That is the thing we like about them. They show lovely behavior. They behave good. They treat the patients well. This is what we like about the nurse. Now let's see what's written over here. She is a nurse. She works in a hospital. Where does she work? Of course, in a hospital. She looks after the patients. What does she do? She looks after the patients. Patients means sick people. Those who go to hospital, they are called their patients. She helps the doctor in operations. She not only looks after the patients, in fact, she assists the doctor too. She helps the doctor too in operations. She gives medicines to patients and make them feel better. After the doctor has done the operation, rest of the things are done by whom? by a nurse. Who does it? A nurse does it. She gives medicine to the patients. She keeps on taking, uh, you know, checking their temperature. She behaves well with them. She makes sure they have eaten their food. Yes? So long they are in hospital, 
she takes good care of them. So, that is a nurse. Okay. So, here I have written about a nurse. Now, you need to write the similar things about any professions you know. Any professions. You can take a doctor. Well, you can take a teacher. Okay. You can take a farmer and then write few sentences like this about them. Can you do that? Good. All right. Now, here we are. See there. What electronic gadget do you like most? Do you use any electronic gadget? Among these, you see there, there is a mobile phone, there is a laptop, there is a TV, well, there is a radio. Do you use such type of devices? They are called electronic gadgets. Okay. Do you use them? What features of the gadget attract you? Tell your friends. So, now you have to say what features of those electronic gadgets attract you? Why do you use them so frequently? Why do you like to use them? For, for example, if you use mobile phone, yeah, cell phones, what things make you use it? Why do you like it? What features of the mobile phone attracts you that you use the mobile phone? Tell me. Okay. Yes, of course. It is used to make phone, phone calls. We can text our friends. Yes, and ask them, how are you? What are you doing? To somebody who is not near us. Okay, like this computer. We use it for our study purpose. Like television for entertainment. We need to have some entertainment and for that we use television, radios. Well, there are others too, like calculators. What is a calculator used for? Yes, it is used for mathematical calculations. So, now you choose any of the, these devices, any of the electronic gadget and then tell your friend what do you like about them. Can you do that? I hope you can. All right, so that's for what is given in the book. Now I have got something for you. Surprise. Okay. We are going to play now a game. Are you ready to play? No, we are not going to play football, of course. We are going to play a game. This one. What is written here? Tell me. Guess who I am. A guessing game. You have to guess. I will be providing you some hints. And then you have to make a guess who I am. You have to tell. Okay. Ready? All right. So, the first one is here. See here? What's written here? I treat sick people. I treat sick people. Well, I'm providing you the hints too. You see the plus sign is there. You have seen that one in the class today. Okay. And there is this device also, a stethoscope. Who uses it? Who does this work? I treat sick people. See? Okay. Okay. Very good. Wow. It's a doctor. Because a doctor treats sick people. Wow. Very good. You answered it. Good. All right. The next one now. What is this? Okay, there is a plow you see. Hello, Sunny. Eh? I grow crops. What is written there? I grow crops. Who grows crops? We have learnt it. Tell me who grows crops? Very good. Wow, who is that? What type of person is that? What type of person is that? He is a farmer yes 
good all right now the next one see there i teach students okay there's a pen who uses pen who teaches the students of course yes it's a teacher very good well done you are going good yes all right now the next one see there what's written here tell me i travel to a space there's a spaceship you see who travels to a space no nobody can say that no one okay i'll help you astronaut we have discussed an astronaut travels to space no matter okay next one is i make furniture who makes furniture you see there is a hammer who makes furniture does a teacher makes furniture no who does it very good wow it's a carpenter yes yes we played well isn't it you enjoyed it i hope you did all right then that's all for today my dear students we shall be discussing more things on this unit in our next classes see you in the next class till then bye all of you stay safe namaste